Welcome back to PSIS Tech Byte. Today, I want to talk with you about new capability that we introduced in the PMP tooling in April 2020 release. In fact, starting from that release, you can easily create a modern team site with an application-only access token. We use a little trick under the cover because we create an Office 365 group, and whenever you create an Office 365 group, you will also get a modern team site under the cover of that group, and that's the modern team site that we create for you. In order to be able to do that, so you will need the latest release, the April 2020 release of PMP PowerShell or of PMP Site Score, if you want to do that in code using .NET Framework. You will have to register an application in Azure Active Directory for app only using an X509 certificate for authentication. And again, we can really help you in this area with another new common letter introduced with PMP PowerShell in April 2020. And of course, you will need the latest April 2020 release of the tooling. So let me move to the new environment as usual, and let me show you how to do that in practice. So here I am in PowerShell ICE. And first of all, I want to configure an application to register an application in Azure Active Directory for app-only uh, authentication based on an X509 certificate. In order to do that, I can simply use the new initialize PMP PowerShell authentication commandlet that we released in April 2020. I will have to provide uh, a tenant as well as uh, a password for a certificate that will be created on the fly for me. This is just a fake password for the sake of making an example. And I can use this uh, command led providing the name of the application that I want to register, the target tenant, uh, what will be the common name of the certificate that will be created for me, and what is the number of years of validity for the certificate, let's say two years by default. Uh, if you don't specify this value, it will fall back to 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. I will store the certificate in the current user certificate store, and this is the password that I provided for my certificate. I will also export the .ser and .pfx files into this folder just for the sake of having a copy of the certificates in a safe place. So let me execute this command let. And by executing this command let, first of all, I will have to authenticate providing the credentials, a set of credentials valid for the target tenant. So that, for example, these credentials. I will have to provide eventually my username if needed. And now the command let already registered in Azure Active Directory in application. In fact, if I search in Azure Active Directory for my target tenant, let's go here in Azure Active Directory and search for app registrations, we can see that if I search for this application, I can see I already have it registered. The application is registered and from an API permissions point of view, I already have some default permissions granted, but not yet granted from an admin point of view. So I will have to do the admin grant. I can do that by clicking on this button from the Azure Admin UI, but actually we can easily do that straight from the command let that we created in PMP PowerShell. So it's just a matter of waiting for 60 seconds, which is usually an average good time to wait for the application to be fully registered and completely available. And right after the 60 second wait, we will be able to grant from an admin perspective those permissions to the app that got registered. So as you can see, the 60 seconds are gone. So now I have a dialogue, which is the consent dialogue that Azure Active Directory uses to prompt any admin user for this kind of grant. I have to select my user, sorry for the UI, which is not the very best ever. And once I select the user, I will have to see, to go through all of the permissions that will be granted to my application. And if I'm okay, I can accept and grant those permissions to the application. The result of this command let will be a complex object, which will include information about the certificate files created on my file system, as well as the application ID and the certificate transparent of the certificate that got created. So I can just store those information in a couple of variables. I can connect with Connect PMP Online to the target environment. And once I'm connected, I can easily create a new site with new PMP site, choosing to create a new modern team site, providing myself as the owner, a title, description, and an alias for my site, and the site will be public. If I select this option, I don't have to specify a username and the password for the user, but I simply need to specify a client ID and the template. Of course, in real life, you will execute this first part of the script just once to set up your environment and to configure your application in Azure Active Directory. And then you will be able to execute as many times as you like the reminder part of the script to provision any site with app-only access token 
and you will be able, for example, to use it in an Azure function or in any other context where you want to do the creation of a modern team site with app only. If I now get back the URL of the created site, I can go there and show you that a modern team site just got created in this tenant using the app only access token. Really, really simple and straightforward. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.